All right, the WinMax control has several different digital readouts or DROs that we can bring up when we're running the machine. The first one is from the auto screen. I'm gonna go ahead and get a program running here. And while we're on the auto screen, we have this button here for select DRO. You'll see that currently we have distance to go and part. Those are the two things that are being displayed. If I hit select DRO, I have a whole host of other ones that I can go to. I can see just the machine and the part. Uh, we can go distance to go is the one we saw a second ago. If this was on a five axis machine or we were doing something on a rotary machine, we could look here for workpiece and transform plane. It shows us our workpiece locations and the transform plane if anything happened to be active in the program. And we have a couple of other that actually come up full screen that shows different information as well. Typically I run on the second one down. So if I go to digital readout, distance to go, this is the one I usually run on this auto screen. We also have off of the graphics screen, if I were to come over here to graphics, if you weren't aware, there are three tabs along the top of the control. If we select the middle tab, that brings up a digital readout where we see the majority of the information is going to be for the digital readout and data information like that. And then you have a little bit of graphics down here in the bottom. If we select the one on the far right, we have a little bit of graphic or a little bit of digital readout along the bottom of the screen. And we have a lot of graphics being shown on the, con on the control screen. And of course, the one on the left is your typical graphic screen. So as you can see, we have a lot of different options that you can choose from when selecting a DRO that'll work for you.